Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the application Map Pilot by Maps Made Easy. Let's go ahead and tap on that. We are going to be talking about saved missions. So saved missions is pretty explanatory. It gives you the latitude and longitude of saved missions, the acreage amount and batteries, as well as the date and time. You can swipe to the left to edit and delete. This is what um, saved missions is. I'll go ahead and exit out of that. Okay, so next we are going to be talking about file manager. I'll go ahead and tap on that. This will give me my flight logs. Um, it will also give me a KML and CSV file. So what a KML file is, it stands for Keyhole Markup Language. And it's a file format used to show a specific location relative to like the Earth. So this can be brought up into a browser, for example, Google Earth. I actually have one of my KML files active currently in MapPilot. So just to show you what that looks like, uh, it's right here in orange. Ignore the yellow because that is another mission that I had created. But this is what a KML file looks like. And like I said, you can bring that up into Google Earth. So we'll go ahead and exit out of here. Um, you will also get a CSV file. Um, this is another mission I had done. I just brought it up into my Excel spreadsheet. And CSV, if you don't know what that means, it stands for Common Separated Values File. The cool thing about the CSV file, if this is helpful to you, is it will give you your role, pitch, and yaw in degrees, along with more information. So this is pretty much what file manager consists of. Last but not least, I'm gonna be talking about settings. Okay, so here's settings for flight camera. You'll notice your aircraft's model will always be listed right here under flight camera. For units, I have my metrics off. I also have my raw images off under image format because I prefer to shoot in JPEG rather than raw. For movable home point, this is a cool feature if you are that person who likes to move a lot during their mission and prefers to mark their home point in different areas occasionally. If this is reasonable for you, this is a 1999 uh, feature that you can purchase on your app. And for SD card speed, I have mine to 2.5 seconds to an image. And camera position, I like to point down to aid landing. I prefer to have that last image taken by the drone of the ground. This is why I have that one on. A show image footprint. This will allow you when you're doing your mission, you're able to see where the drone is taking pictures of. But also if you have this on, you can see a green box around the drone as it's making its way along its mission. Next, I'm going to be talking about access password. This is important if you download MapPilot onto different devices. And let's say you had purchased a Terrain Aware feature for $9.99. You can go ahead and take this access password and put that into the other devices you download MapPilot on and get all those features. And I am doing this video on the version of 3.04. If you guys have any questions, you can comment down below and I will hopefully answer them. Thank you. Bye.